Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman. You're watching theCUBE live from Dell Technology World's 2019. We're here with about 15,000 other people, about 4,000 Dell Technologies partners. Wow, and now, for the first time, we're pleased to welcome the CEO of Virtus Dream, Rory Reed. Rory, it's great to have you joining Stu and me on theCUBE today. It is, Lisa. It's a pleasure and a real uh, honor to be on the show today. So this morning's keynote, we were talking before we went live, starts with lots of energy, news, announcements, partnerships, collaboration. Talk, walk us, you've, you're an industry veteran, which we'll dig into, I'm sure, sure. during this segment. 35 well, years. 35 years. That's amazing. 35 years is how old Dell's going to be <laughs> this in the next week. 35 years. That's a magic number, well, congratulations. It is. Thank you. Virtus Stream, talk to us about the integration. You led those efforts, massive acquisition. What's going on now? What's exciting you? Well, I think it's kind of amazing what happened in the integration. This is the largest tech integration in the world, $67 billion. Shortly after Dell goes private, they're going to acquire Dell EMC, uh, EMC and VMware. The huge undertaking, thousands of people work on it. Less than 10 months from the time it was announced, October of 15, it goes live on September 7th, 16th. That's amazing. And our customers reacted and our partners in a, just an amazing way. It's almost like it didn't happen. I, you know, I'm biased. I think it went really well, but look at the numbers. Look at the reaction in the marketplace. The growth, the synergy, the revenue the kinds of impact. And then you see today at Dell, uh, Dell Technology World, Michael does a keynote, he talks about the impact. Karen comes up and talks about giving back and the work that we're doing around prosthetic and printing 3D and uh, artificial intelligent based you know, limbs. I, if you're not fired up about that, you can't get energized. And then you top that off with just an amazing discussion about the partnership between VMware and Dell Technologies on the Dell Cloud, and then the work that we're doing with Microsoft, and Satya comes on stage with Michael and Pat. I mean, this is a power pack moment. And we put this company just three years ago together, and look at the kind of impact it has in the industry. Amazing, just amazing. So Rory, uh, yeah, I think Jeff Clark said it well this morning. He said, if you're into technology and can't get excited by what's going on, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you know, it's kind of, you know, my words, maybe you're not in the right space. You've got a few of the interesting pieces of the, the Dell Technologies family. We talk about, you know, the massive acquisition of EMC with VMware, uh, Virtustream, not such a small acquisition itself, over a billion dollars. 1.2 billion dollars. Uh, yeah, 1.2 yeah. billion dollars, and you know, I remember back, Boomi wasn't that, that long ago either, uh, for, you know, it was less than a billion dollars, but it was. Oh, uh, Boomi, Boomi is an amazing set of yeah. technology. I know you're going to have Chris McNabb on later today. Chris and I have worked on what we call the Boomi Acceleration Plan the last two years. We, we with that team, have put in a strategy around taking advantage of just an amazing set of technology. Boomi's cloud integration software, I believe is the absolute best on the planet. And the work that we've done, we've doubled that business in the last 18 months. We've added probably a billion dollars of market valuation. They've reached, they add thousands of customers every quarter to that portfolio, the reach and touch, and how that's going to drive the way data and applications talk in the cloud era, it's just at the beginning of the impact there. And then you look at a company like Virtustream, it's the leader in mission critical application workloads on the cloud. This is a company born on the cloud, it's based on the cloud nine years ago. It's the one hand to shake. Customers choose us with their most important applications and data because they need to know that it's going to work and that we have the experience to plan it, to migrate it, optimize it, and bring it to the cloud, to cloudify it. And that we're the single hand to shake. What's different about us is we have an IaaS, we have the, the infrastructure as a service, we have the software stack with extreme software, Take time, I get fired up about Boomi's technology, 
Virtustream Extreme Software, amazing. And then on top of that, you layer on a white glove set of application and professional services, very cool. But what was the coolest were some of the announcements today and how we're playing with, it's all VMware, VMware based on uh, Virtustream. And when they announced the partnership with uh, Azure and the idea of VMware workloads on Azure, that's actually running, will be running, and running on, and we've been working with Microsoft and VMware on Virtustream. Okay. And it's in the, it's you, in the what, announcement. What, when you say it's running on Virtustream, is it your data centers, is it part of the software Oh stack? no, the, data, oh, the yeah. data centers are all Azure. Yeah. It's using our software and our technology team have built that set of technology that have, we've been in partnership for months with Microsoft and VMware to create this offering as one of the cloud service partners. Yeah. So pretty cool. Virtu so it's foundational. It's pretty foundational. And you know, it, it, but at the end of the day, think about Dell Technologies. It's one of the ingredient brands, sure. That's foundational. This is a company built for the next 10 years. Dell Technologies and the impact it's going to have in the industry is just beginning. Yeah. Where is it going to go? You saw it this morning in the yeah. keynote. Michael has some big, big ideas. So, so Rory, a lot of times we look at things in the industry and people it's like, oh, it, it's binary, it's public cloud or private cloud. Um, I, I've worked with a lot of service providers and when you look at the world, multi-cloud, it's really more of an and and putting the it pieces is. together. Uh, many of the service providers that are, you know, were EMC and or Dell partners before, you know, three or four years ago, oh my gosh, AWS and Microsoft, well, I, okay, a partner a little with Microsoft, but Amazon's the enemy, and today it's, well, I have our stuff and I'm partnering and I probably have connections between them. Help us paint as to where Virtustream fits into this, you know, this spectrum today. You're, Stu, you're on the right point about multi-cloud. We just did a press release today at a Virtustream where we partnered with Forrester. We do a whole industry study on the cloud and the future of the cloud. Multi-cloud, 97% of the customers we spoke to, that Forrester spoke to, have a multi-cloud strategy for their mission critical applications. And 89% of them plan to increase their spend on multi-cloud mission critical activities. How we play in that space is that we're the trusted player. We've done over 1,800 SAP migration. We're an Epic healthcare leader. Go talk to Novant. To ask them how it's gone on Virtus Dreams Cloud. Amazing set of mission critical capability. But what we're taking is there's this infrastructure as a service and the software stack and the services. That software stack is extreme. What we want to do is enable that software stack to manage data and applications in a private environment a public environment, on-prem, and it's all based on VMware. So it ties directly into Jeff and Pat's announcement this morning where they talked about VMware being a platform and how they're going to create the Dell cloud on that platform. Virtustream is one of the destinations for mission critical workload, but because it's based on VMware technology, it seamlessly begins to integrate across that and allows us to manage data and applications, linking our extreme software with the VMware uh, capabilities that allow that data and the APIs to exchange data and flow freely in a multi-cloud world. 97% of the customers and the Forrester research we just released are going to go multi-cloud for mission critical, not just based, this is for their most critical applications and data. So That's the future. Your energy is outstanding and your enthusiasm for this. What are some of the early reactions that customers are having to some of this exciting groundbreaking news that's coming out today? What are your expectations? Well, you know, I've spent time with customers uh, every week and we talk about it, well, I've actually talked to customers this day, today about it. They found the energy, the passion, the, the technology that was introduced this morning was sort of game changing. Because to Stu's point, they are going in a multi-cloud era and they know it's going to be multi-cloud and there's going to be on-prem, public, private, it's going to link all together. They need the technology trusted advisors that can work with them, not with a single answer that only fits one way. At Dell Technologies, you want to run on-prem? We have those capabilities. You want to run on public? 
cloud, we have those technologies. You want to run in a hybrid kind of solution or a private cloud, we're going to create the ability with these announcements today to link it together and to create the ability to do it seamlessly, efficiently, productively, cost effectively that allows our customers to dramatically transform their business, to take them on that digital transformation, to disrupt their industries and win. Because when our customers win, we win. Absolutely. And that's what we do at Dell Technologies. We enable our customers to win. And it's all about the customer, every single day. You talked about the integration, what Michael said every day when we were doing the integration, he said on every decision when we dis were building the company, we basically built a new company, level by level. He said the guiding principle to every decision is customer in. How does this matter to the customer? How does it make a difference for the customer? And I think we live that every day. There's 50, 15,000 of our closest friends here in Las Vegas. They're pretty excited to be here. And why do they take that time? Because we're one of their trusted partners on their digital transformation journey. That's not a bad place to be. If you can't get excited about that, yeah, I'm Rory, in the it, wrong it, it industry. Was, it was amazing to me how fast that, that integration work happened. Uh, we talked to Howard Elias a bunch along the journey. I'm glad we finally get to you, get you on the record for it. Um, Howard's an amazing guy. Yeah. What an awesome partner. And so, uh, you know, one of the things, glad it's 10 months, is you know, if this thing had taken 24 months, so much of the industry would have changed by the time from when you went in to when you went out. So, I, I guess, how, how, do you, how do you look at kind of those massive waves versus, you know, where you need to be with products today in the market and where customers are, because you know, the, the danger you say, I want to listen to the customers, well, you know, you get the old saying, if you ask customers, they wanted you know, a faster buggy, uh, you know, not, oh, right, not, not right, cars, right. so yeah, right. how do you make fair. sure you're you know, hitting that next wave and keeping up with it? I, I look at you know, all the pieces you have of, of the puzzle that is the family and the different places along the spectrum. Well, I think there's, you know, there's value in the diversity of thought, right? And we talk about in workforce, but it's in business. The idea that Dell Technologies is this group of businesses and all these experiences coming together and the interactions with customers from the smallest mom and pop shops, farms, to all the way to the most gigantic industry transformational companies. You know, we're exposed to a lot of things and with the kind of 40, 140,000 professionals working together and with Michael's vision and the ELT's vision, there's an ability to see that future. And he is always looking at the future. You know, it's interesting, I've, I've worked for a lot of interesting people, but you know, Michael's ability to, to understand data and a view, he says it's about having big ears, right? <laughs> your ears need to be twice the size of your mouth. I mean, you got to listen. And I seriously think he must have a tree of Keebler elves creating data and information for him. I've never seen so much, someone with more data and information. And he, he listens, he values the input, he's quick to make a decision, but the team ra rallies around that idea. How can we find that future? And if we make a mistake, let's fix it fast. Let's learn really quick. Make that decision, learn quickly, adjust, and capture the opportunity. And it's all about speed and what matters to the customer. I've seen it firsthand. I've been here four years. I spent 23 years at IBM. I spent five years at Lenovo uh, as their COO and president. I was the CEO and president of Advanced Micro Devices. It's an amazing environment where you create a place where technological leaders come every day to solve the most difficult solutions with the founder of the company that's one of the industry icons. And it's just an amazing privilege and honor to be part of it. And I think you feel that from every person you talk to that's part of Dell Technologies. I, and being part of that integration was one of the most proudest experiences of my life. And you know what we did? We never ran it as an integration office. We kept the decisions with the line, with the business, and we had a rapid pace to get through it and decide it, and we learned quickly and we adjusted as we went. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty close. It was pretty close. And I'm biased, I got it, I'm biased. Just a but little bit, But it was good, right? it was good. It was really a great thing. And Howard, amazing guy. But it was because 
people believed in the vision and they all worked together. And when people work together, you can grow, do amazing and great things. You're right, it's all about the people. It is. Rory, it's been such a pleasure having you on theCUBE this afternoon with Stu and me. I wish we had more time because I know we could keep talking, but Anytime. you're just going to gonna have to come back. Anytime you like me, it was a pleasure. And thank you so much for taking time to speak to me. When you talk to Boomi this afternoon, make sure you get into that technology. World best cloud integration platform. You Beautiful. got it. All right. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. For Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from day one of our double set coverage of Dell Technology World 2019. Thanks for watching.